guys. I'm Mary Richardson. Welcome to another video today. Thanks for joining me today. I'm your quit smoking expert. My name is Mary Kay Richardson. Today I'm going to talk about cravings as you quit smoking and the three things you can do to help get you through the cravings. So in case you don't know who I am, my name again is Mary Kay Richardson. I'm an expert in helping executives quit smoking. Even if you love cigarettes, even if you are, don't want to quit, but you have to for your health or other reasons, maybe surgery or other reasons. Um, if you are a busy executive or you know of a busy executive who needs or wants to quit smoking, maybe a colleague, a friend, um, Please pass on this video to them. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Uh, this video is all about helping you get through cravings as you quit smoking. So let's jump right in. The three tips for quitting smoking. The first one is to realize that cravings will come. So trying to um, pretend that you're not going to have them or avoid them or panic when you have them those are not helpful. So just admit right now that yes, you will have cravings. The reason why you have cravings is because nicotine is leaving your body. So cravings are often, um, they happen between, they can peak at about three days after you quit smoking. Um, nicotine creates nicotine receptors in your body. And when those receptors don't get nicotine, they push you to seek out nicotine. So that's why all the patches, the nicotine gum, et cetera, all the nicotine replacement um, products are out there, but they don't really help you get off nicotine. Yeah, you might not be smoking, but then you are constantly chewing the gum, which by the way, I've heard tastes like rubber. <laughs> um, but you don't wanna be, if you don't want to have nicotine in your body and just not replace cigarettes with anything because what's the point if you then you have to quit vaping or you have to quit you know get off the patch or um, get rid of the gum so quitting smoking cold turkey is the best way to quit smoking and the first tip i have you i have for you to help you get through the cravings that you will experience is to be real, realistic and know that the cravings will be there the second tip is to focus on your breath. Most cravings only last about three minutes. So what happens when people aren't prepared for the cravings, it catches them off guard. They have no plan of what to do when they experience craving and they think that it's going to last indefinitely. So this video is to help you plan for it, knowing that the cravings only really last about three minutes. You just have to divert your attention for about three minutes to get through them. And some things to help you do that are focus on your breath, because when you're focusing on your breathing in and out, you're living in the moment, you're not thinking about the future, you're not thinking about the past, you're in the moment, which means that you're not thinking about a fear of the future, not being able to have a cigarette, or in the past, how you broke down and had a cigarette when you had cravings. So focus on your breath is my first tip. The second tip is to imagine you're going up a flight of stairs and the more, the stronger your cravings, the more stairs there are. What this does, and obviously don't do this while you're driving or operating machinery, but if you're experiencing a craving and you're in a place where you can just imagine for a little while, for about three minutes, Imagine going up those steps. The stronger the craving, the more steps. So keep going up those steps and you'll find as you do that, it will refocus your mind on something else. And within about three minutes, you won't feel the push or the need for nicotine. And that, then you can imagine that you've gotten to the top of the staircase or the top of the flight of stairs and you can just relax. The third tip I have for you is chew on something. When you experience cravings, maybe you're at work, you can't maybe divert your attention for three minutes, 
to imagining going up the steps and maybe breathing is working, but you want something else, focus on chewing something, a straw, um, whatever you can chew on. If you have dental work, obviously don't chew on gum. Um, you don't want to <laughs> disrupt your dental work or create another situation. So if you can chew on something, uh, maybe a hard piece of candy or um, a straw, that will sometimes help. And as an additional bonus today, um, to help you get through cravings, you can always refocus your attention by holding something in your hand because it takes concentration to hold something in your hand and that will divert you from thinking about the craving because what we think about expands. So when we think about maybe holding a pen in our, in our hand and clutching it really tightly um, or a squeeze toy or something like that, a stress ball, something like that, it will refocus our mind on doing that and away from the cravings. And next thing you know, it will pass and you will have overcome it. So my three tips, actually four tips for overcoming cravings in the moment are to breathe, focus on your breath in and out, Point two is to imagine you're going up steps. The more, the stronger the craving, the more steps. The third point is to uh, chew on something. If you can, if you're, if you don't have any problem chewing on things or dental work or anything like that, chew on something. And the fourth tip is to clutch something in your hand, like a stress ball, a pen. And that way, if you're in a meeting, business meeting, and you're having uh, cravings or you're running the business meeting, pick up a pin and just hold it um, down by your side and no one will really know what's going on. So I hope these help you. Uh, those are my four tips for helping you get through cravings. Make sure you send, uh, if you know of anybody, friend, colleague, or a busy executive who wants to quit smoking, send them a copy, uh, a link to this video. Um, if you are wanting to quit yourself, you can always jump on a free strategy call with me. And we'll, I will let you know how I help my clients quit smoking in less than 21 days um, and oftentimes as quick as 60 minutes. Yeah, you heard that, 60 minutes, one hour, and to being smoke-free with lots of support from me and from, uh, I'll tell you that in a strategy call if you want to know more. So now you have everything you need to know to help you through the cravings and so you don't have to experience uh, being unprepared or not knowing, not knowing uh, what to expect. All right, for those that showed up late, thanks for jumping in and watch this video and learn how you can do some th simple things to help you get through cravings. Bye for now.